Hi, back into the single shot vault. You all know that I like these single shot rifles best. Just something about that one shot thing. Anyhow, this is a falling block. And I showed you Ruger number ones and the Hagen, which I think is the best of them. But if you wanted to pick one that is entirely unique and elegant in kind of a special way, this is made, uh, or rather this is a Daniel Fraser um, action. Uh, they were made in Scotland and they might have resurrected them a couple of times, different makers. But what I liked about it was the side lever, and I'll show you the block rising and lowering. So j there's just something about that operation that that is cool. And it's very positive, and I've never had a problem with extraction. And you can probably see how that works. Um, it's, it's not an ejector by any means. Anyhow, uh, tremendous strength like all the falling blocks have. This one's engraved and uh, I probably don't need to say this, but all you know, most of the falling blocks have the lever here, which gives you a lot of leverage, no pun intended. And Fraser decided that he wanted to have a side lever, and you can see how everything interrelates here. This is the safety, uh, the trigger is excellent, and really, there's not that much to say about this rifle. It's, it's a falling block, single shot, uh, extremely well made, and not that many made uh, during production. I actually don't know, but it wouldn't be, um, you know, tens of thousands. Uh, fantastic cartridges. They, I think they made them mostly in 303. And uh, other rimmed cartridges. It was just either easier for the extractor to grab, to grab the uh, the case with a with a rim. And um, as far as the internals, um, excellent. I mean. All of the British falling blocks, to some extent, are what I call <laughs> mouse traps. There are, there are a lot of springs and, and things going on that have to go on, uh, given the confines of the design of the action. But they wrestled with the parts, no computers, and figured out how to get these things to work. And that kind of is a wonder of its own. So um, aside from the Hagen, which I think is the best, uh, this this probably of the older single shots has the most character and uh, definitely something that that would be wonderful to hunt with and 303 British a fantastic cartridge um, it's stocked um, you know maybe not the best stock but they used high quality wood so that looks good and everything else is probably self-evident but I I want to show you these because they're they're sometimes hard to find but they're part of my collection, so I like to share them with, with uh, collectors around the world. And as always, thanks for watching.